You know, anytime I'm using a finesse technique on a spinning outfit, I'm always running braided line to a fluorocarbon leader. Um, any kind of finesse technique, whether it's a, a nail rig, a drop shot, doesn't matter. Any, any finesse technique on a spinning outfit, I'm going to use that braided line to the fluoro. Um, the, the one question I always get asked is, what knot do I tie? Uh, it's pretty simple. I use the RP knot, and I will show you how to do it here. First thing I do is I take a spool of line, my eight pound sniper. Leader length for me is I take the spool, I do a full length, second one, and that's the length of the leader I'm gonna run. Take that spool, cut the line right there. Then have my, my 12 pound TX1 braided line. Okay, I'm gonna loop my, my leader like this. I'm gonna pinch it with my left hand. I'm gonna take my ring finger and run it through that loop. Well, after I'm gonna put this in first here. So you always have to crisscross that line. So the line goes in this way, in that loop that I made, I'm gonna put that finger through that loop. The reason for that is that I know that that line went this way. You have to go this way, run your wraps, and when you come back, it has to go that way. So to know where I am, I have my finger in there, plus it helps me hold the knot as well. So here's the loop. Run the line through the loop. Now I'm gonna run, put my finger through that loop there so I know which way it is. I'm gonna run anywhere from six to nine wraps going down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine wraps. I pinch where I ended the wraps. Now I'm going to wrap right back where I started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I've done nine wraps down and nine wraps back. Now my finger is still in that loop, so I know I need to go the opposite direction. So I take that tag in and I go back this way through the loop. When I was holding it before, I had my finger that way. I went in that way, wrap down, wrap back. Now going through that loop this way. Grab the tag end and the main line and slowly start to cinch that down. Make sure it's wet and I'm gonna pull on everything, tag ends and main line, just to get it down. Keep grabbing everything, tag ends, main lines and everything. Pull it tight. Now it's a nice clean knot. Now I'm going to take just the leader and the, the main line and finish that off and pull it tight. That's the knot. That's the RP knot. Now I'm just going to take my scissors, cut the tag end off the braid, cut the tag end off the fluorocarbon. I'm going to leave about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe even less on each of them. So there's just a barely a little bit of tag in on either one, and that's the RP knot right there. Really strong, it's really thin, goes through the guides very easily. You can cast water, it doesn't hang up. Ultra, ultra strong. That's the RP knot. It's a very lightweight, very crisp rod. This is in hand, it feels so comfortable, the balance of it. I like the braiding X that's in it. We actually have a couple Tackle Warehouse exclusive rods. It's actually a 7.4 heavy action. The BMS, the bite marker system, is going to allow you to detect and see those bites better than with a clear 